How you doing? Welcome to another chapter of comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> Key point. <laughs> oh, the word, I'll say first, the word assume. A-S-S-U-M-E. <laughs> assume. <laughs> When we assume something that can make an ass out of both you and me, assuming something is true and not knowing if it's true or not, not going back to the data, what you have for data, actual factual data, can get things all screwed up. Key point, as you go forward, as I go forward, as we go forward in being students of the word, disciples, okay? Disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's got billions of them now. It is the word of God that was recorded for us, written down for us, either by the eyewitnesses, Matthew and Mark and John were an eyewitness. Luke, who also wrote the book of Acts, was not an eyewitness, but he was recording and interviewing and wrote down from a record from eyewitnesses, okay? He, Luke was not an eyewitness. He was writing down a record from what he interviewed people and he wrote down what he received, data he received from the eyewitnesses. Now, in Acts, I believe he was eyewitness, but in the writing of the book Luke, not an eyewitness, okay? But all of these guys especially in the the gospels the book of acts and then but especially in those there are and this is absolute key they're they're full of road signs data information that is there that for them at that point in time what was common knowledge to them then a lot of that has been obscured, moved out of the way, smeared over with mud and covered for us today. You got to go back to the original, oftentimes to the Greek and Hebrew. Well, the New Testament written in Greek, Old Testament written in Hebrew. But to go back to, if you're looking at a paraphrase, oh, help us all. That's generally one man's opinion full of loaded with assumptions. And if you go by a paraphrase and go Message Bible or New Living, whatever, they are loaded with, it's one, generally one man's uh, rewriting, rewriting of King James or Geneva Bible or something, but it's one man's opinion is what a paraphrase is loaded with. It'll make an ass out of you and me if you get your theology from a paraphrase. Help us all. Most stupid thing on the planet. You don't want to be the most stupid thing on the planet. The most ignorant thing? Because you got your data from a paraphrase? <laughs> like the Message Bible or something? You might as well get your knowledge of the Constitution of the United States from Joe Biden. Ah, but he's the president. Oh, help us all. So, key point, <laughs> key point, the road signs, the, the guys that wrote this down, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul, okay, Peter, as they wrote stuff down, they filled it full of road signs, data that would help us understand thousands of years later, what in the world they were talking about? Example, how many Marys were there? <laughs> Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, Mary from Magdala, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, Mary, and there was a bunch of them, and they would identify, often with a phrase or something, which Mary they were talking about, so you or I wouldn't be confused. Mary, the one whom Jesus from Magdala, whom Jesus cast seven devils out of or Mary the wife of Cleopas, or Mary the mother of Jesus, or, Ma and, okay, okay, got it? Now, when talking about 
when it's specifically just identifying the disciples of Jesus that were the 12, okay, the 12, <laughs> they will refer to them as the 12. Or for that time frame when there was only 11 because Judas had hung himself, you'll find where it says the 11. So that puts it in that little time frame between when Judas uh, hung himself and Matthias, or Matthias, depends on how you say it, was uh, chosen to replace him, okay? So you have 12 or 11 or 12 identifying, but he, Jesus had thousands of disciples. And then we have the Galilee gathering, and you will never, never understand it if you're reading a paraphrase. You won't get it, because they took all the road signs out. But if you go and you search in either, I'll say the best source is either the Geneva Bible or King James, full of the these and the thous, okay? But in there, they, you will find in the translation going from Greek to English, they did, for the most part, they did pretty good. They did okay, I'll say in the King James, they did okay. Okay, the guys that translated, <laughs> that translated the, the King James authorized version, it's not quite as good as the Geneva Bible, but I haven't been able to get my hands on a Geneva Bible that wasn't loaded with commentary. That was, and sometimes the commentary is awful. When you see something like, oh, the women of Galilee, what does that mean to you if you don't know that the Galilee gathering was happening? Or when the angels said, oh, you men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus as you saw him go, he's gonna return onto you. If you don't know there was a Galilee gathering, and the angels are talking to, oh, you men of Galilee, you men that were at the Galilee gathering, and they didn't, <laughs> they didn't, when they counted stuff, they didn't count the women and kids, only the adult males, <laughs> when they took account of who was at something, only adult males. If you don't know that, <laughs> they think, why was it only men that were at the Galilee gathering? No, they just counted the men. Paul identified that there was over 500 adult males at the Galilee gathering that saw him all at the same time in the same place. Well, he didn't count. They didn't count the women and youth, especially the children, but the youth, they didn't count them either. Had to be adult males to enter into the census. <laughs> so, key point. <laughs> Don't neglect all the road signs that are there. It's full. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and then, you know, throughout the rest of the New Covenant, loaded with road signs. Don't pull them. Don't read something. If you want to read it for fun, you know, read Message Bible. I'm sorry, but I refuse to do that. I think it's dumb. You get stuff stuck in your brain that's not right. Data that's not right. It's not data. It's not right. <laughs> the road signs are important. <laughs> all of the stuff about the Galilee gathering, <laughs> all of the data is there. It's all there. If you're willing to what believe what's written you know if i want to find out about the constitution of the united states i'm not going to go ask ask what uh <laughs> oh i'm not going to go ask joe biden but then on the other hand i'm not going to go ask trump either about the constitution of the united states of america <laughs> if i want to know about the bible and what it says, I'm not going to go ask a church in a box potentate. That's dumb. I'm sorry. It's just... 
through the new birth, all men are created equal. You want to find out about your inheritance? You have an inheritance. If you are born of God, you have DNA of God in you. It is his inheritance in you. That's another road sign, another key marker. Don't pull it up and throw it away. Don't let somebody else jerk it out of your life and say, no, you don't have this. You don't have an inheritance from God. You don't have the DNA of God in you. You're not part of the fivefold ministry. You're not a minister. They're telling you this. Are you going to believe them? Really? It's up to you. So, you know, watch for the road signs or just let somebody rip them out of, you know, you can, <laughs> you know, it'd be a shame for you to find out later you are absolutely wealthy, but you never made use of anything of the inheritance that you obtained through the new birth. That would be really sad. So, enjoy the journey. Talk again soon.